please, God, don't ever let Jules find out what I'm about to do. Let's be honest. We all live double lives. Did you know that I loved you? Hi. I'm not talking about obsession or fighting. I'm talking about love. Truth or dare? I dare you. a brilliant and charismatic and likable actress. I was really excited to see how far I could push her likability. In terms of this episode, Rue is lying to everyone in her life. The beginning of the season is about her trying to be a functional drug addict, right? Call me irresponsible, call me unreliable, throw in undependable too. The solo we did for Z, call me irresponsible. It's like pushing from what we think her character would be. Z has a background in dance, so that's always a pleasure. We kind of created that piece together. That was so special to watch her, you know, develop this as a routine and let her really bring her character into this. Rue has no intention of being clean or staying clean, and she feels like as long as she can keep it that way without people knowing, she's not hurting anyone. Rue? Are you high? Oh, fuck me. To see how an addict lies to their family and friends, from their perspective, it just became a slightly humorous, very disturbing way of showing how drugs have this ability to kind of change the way in which you think. And it really brings out this sort of manipulative side. I actually doing fucking weed, it was an idea! That's hard to sort of square with the person we know her to be. Elliot's just like a messy kid. I think his intentions overall are fine. It kind of gets lost a little bit in this dynamic between him and Jules and Rue. I think that they're the same, like, you know, Rue and Elliot. Elliot represents the other part of her life that's killing her, but that she's trying to keep alive. If you tell me what drugs you're doing, I'll tell you what drugs I'm doing. Rue feels like she can really be herself around him because I really don't think he judges her in the same way that, say, Jules does. They have a connection that Jules doesn't know about, but that kind of partnership creates an energy that I think Jules can like feel, and she knows something's going on there, but she doesn't know quite what. Our intentions with episode three is that we allow the memories of the past to exist alongside the present. It naturally shifts the audience's preconceptions and feelings about how they see a character. We get into Cal's backstory this year, and it was exciting to get to explore a whole new Cal. I didn't realize how influenced he was by his family of origin. Get up. I will. Right now. Cal was who he was in season one because he had this very sort of rigid set of family values and rules that he lived by. Um. I met a girl. The first inkling of an idea about Cal's backstory came from Marcel and I just hanging around after season one wrapped, listening to 90s music. 
We tend to think about things from a rhythmic standpoint in terms of how it's shot and how the story's told. The rhythm and the energy and, and emotion became the kind of backbone of that, that whole sequence. Those are like period pieces inside this contemporary show and we treated them totally as period pieces. The colors are more exaggerated. It's a more grainy look. It feels, uh, hopefully, yeah, more nostalgic. It's not every day I'm given an opportunity to do period, and I love doing period. That's when you really get to like build costumes. I tried to create a palette that was sort of dusty, pale, and not bright to give it sort of an aged feeling. We had to take a lot of people and transform them into this 90s looks because it is two decades ago and actually was it three decades ago almost three decades ago <laughs> and hair was a little bit different so for young cow and young derek i wanted to go back to the 90s and see who to me stood out and we were looking at like matt damon and brad Pitt. <laughs> that kind of long bob kind of cut that was derek's hair and then young cow had a little bit more Matt Damon, a little bit more, uh, I would say almost military, but with a little bit of judge to it. When Cal was a senior in high school, he spent every day with his best friend, Derek. One of the things I love most about the show is being able to sort of provide more context why someone is the way they are. They were that close. Someone may have hated the character of Cal before this opening. That comfortable. But that backstory was always a part of him. It just wasn't something we knew. So any any empathy gained for him becomes more of an indictment about our lack of imagination than anything else. Are you sure the test is accurate? Take another one. Craig, cut it. I had been begging Sam to let me chop my hair. I've been wanting to cut it for so long. And uh, he was like, no, no. And then like a week before we actually started filming, he's like, you wanna, you wanna cut your hair off? And I just started losing it. Her character was definitely, you know, evolving and he wanted her look to evolve. We've seen Jules move from this like hyper feminine baby doll aesthetic to something slightly more androgynous. Okay, so what is this cut gonna look like? I cut her hair into like this bob, slightly layered, a little bit elevated. But on like a more superficial note, you have great tits and you and Kurt Cobain have the same haircut. We ended up with the Kurt Cobain. I mean, you're fascinating, right? Because you're creative and you're smart and you're kind of fucked up. As Jules and Elliot and Rue are all hanging out, Jules kind of warms up to him. The apprehension kind of melts away and she realizes like, this is kind of fun, the three of us, like this kind of works. Because this like kind of weird tension and maybe triangle of possible love connections is starting to happen. Do you have a crush on Rue? I do. For Elliot, he kind of is like not really aware of how his actions are affecting people around him. There is an element of, of him being similar to Rue that might feel attractive to her. All of that just gets messier and messier and messier. It's a lot of trying to have your cake and eat it too. That never really quite works out. 